There are more than 14,000 public school districts in the U.S., and for most of them, students are in class five days a week. Most. Before COVID, more than 650 districts in 24 states adopted a four-day school week. That's more than 1,600 schools offering three-day weekends. Three years later, that number's grown. And though the shorter week can help recruit teachers and save some money, the effect on students' grades is less certain. Schools on a four-day week don't just cancel Friday classes. Some districts make each school day about an hour longer to make up the time lost. On average, kids on a four-day schedule spend 32 more days at home than kids on a five-day schedule. But what's the research say about grades? Almost all research papers conclude the impact on grades is inconsistent. A 2015 study found that more fourth and fifth grade students perform better at reading and math after switching to a shorter week. Over a 10-year period, the average number of kids scoring proficient or advanced in fifth grade math improved following the switch. And by year two, more fourth graders scored proficient or better in reading. A 2021 analysis of 12 states with districts on four-day school weeks found student performance depends on the length of the school day. Researchers said shorter days were extremely problematic for academic achievement, but longer school days might offset any negative impact resulting from switching to a four-day week. One of the most common reasons districts switch to a shorter week is to attract teachers. The average salary for an elementary school teacher in 2021 was around $67,000. On average, that's less than you'd make driving a trolley. No disrespect to trolley drivers. The Economic Policy Institute says three out of five teachers work a second job during the school year, and the need to moonlight makes teaching a less attractive career option. Aside from pay, teaching's also stressful. A 2022 survey by the RAND Corporation says 35% of working adults experience frequent job-related stress, but for teachers, that jumps to 73%. So it makes sense that offering a three-day weekend could attract teachers, especially in rural districts that lack the amenities and opportunities available in cities. Other reasons for switching to shorter school weeks, all backed by research, include saving on weekly costs ranging from electricity to bus drivers, a 39% reduction in bullying incidents, and improved staff morale. Negative effects noted in research include resistance from parents, mostly by parents of younger students. Parents with older kids weren't as opposed to the four-day school week. And food insecurity for kids in low-income households. Bottom line, we just don't know enough yet to determine if four-day school weeks are the way to go. It's hard to compare student performance across states with different academic standards and varying economic factors. One district in Madison, Wisconsin's hedging their bets, trying a hybrid four-day school week that's just for teachers. Students still come to school for five days. They'll just have a different teacher one of those days. Administrators there say they hope to improve teacher morale without reducing instructional time. One more thing to consider. The U.S. spends roughly $760 billion a year on public education, and that might sound like a lot. But that's just 4.9% of our country's GDP. Most highly developed countries spend 5.5% or more on education. <laughs>